how did I make sense of the next few days? I think the most terrifying thing was from the car park when I sat there, I was alone but I felt protected. I didn't have to explain myself, I didn't cry, I didn't get upset. But then the reality hit. I had to drive home, not say anything at that point because I didn't have the concrete answers and more or less lie to my family. So that drive home was surreal. I can remember pulling the car up. I can remember having a very vague conversation with Jeff's sister. Now my husband was working away at the time. So I needed to straight away protection mode. I needed to make sure that he felt supported. It was a really, really awful piece of news. Not only was I telling my friends and family that I had cancer, I was telling them that it was already stage four. It had already got to the worst situation it could be. So I had lots of questions, but I knew the type of people my family and friends were. They would want to know, some of them would want to know the far end. So I had to be so careful not to give too much information initially so I could be prepared as well as them.